Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing more work with the Anita's Craft Paint. And the color that I have chosen to work with tonight is um, Anita's Metallic Craft Paint. And this is in silver. Um, I did get this from Hobby Lobby and it was $3.99 for this container. And I have got it mixed up. Um, these are 9 ounce cups. And I put, I've got about 7 ounce um, of paint in this container. And I actually think it's a little thicker than what I want it to be. So let's just add a little bit of my pour medium. I mixed it up a little while ago. I have been having technical difficulties. I got a new little thing to hold my um, phone to record and it's great and it's more elevated so um, I'm hoping better quality video and I've got more lights so I'm trying to get you know a better setup but I was trying to stand on my tippy toes and put the phone in the um, Holder and I dropped my phone and I've broken the screen. So I've got to take it tomorrow to get it repaired because it's really, really bad. But um, I'll go over my color. I actually chose all Liquitex bases. I have these little tubes. Um, they come in this set of 48. And um, I really enjoyed having these because it gives you like so many color choices. And um, you know, if you find yourself gravitating toward one particular color, then go. Then you can go and purchase it in a larger size. So this is Quinecridone Magenta, and a mixed one. This is Naphthol Crimson. I mixed these two, Primary Red and Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And then I have got Cerulean Blue Hue, Thalo Cyanon Blue, and then I have Raw Umber. So I know those are teeny tiny tubes, but like I said, I enjoy using them. So I've got my colors lined up. And I have been doing um, dirty pours, but let's layer them tonight. Um, so this is the color that I've mixed the two. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I just wanted to change the, the tone of it. So that is what I did. And as I did in my other experiments, I'm not going to include the silver in the layering of the colors. I'm going to use it only as a base. I really hope this um, raw sienna is not a mistake. It's the only kind of off-topic color that I'm including, but... We shall see, we shall see. And I did try to resist the urge of mixing up too much paint and then I mix up too much paint and then I think I have to put it all on my canvas and it does not need it all. I intentionally did not include any other metallics in this pour because I've done t two pours with the Anita's metallic as a base and I included metallics in those and um, they did not where the metallic came on 
out on the uh, canvas the Anitas could not um, push through so I think density wise um, the metallics was just too much for it so I want to try this with just normal paints. All right, so we've got our cup layered and my last three layers got a little bit messy should make some interesting things happen and of course I've got to make a mess on my canvas um all right so let's put down some of the metallic I quite like not working under um if you haven't saw any of my previous previous videos where I've commented my workspace was under a shelf um, and it, it was under the shelf because I had to use it to um, put my um, what you call the things that you um, mount your camera on to you know what I'm talking about Anyway, tripod, my tripod. I had to put the tripod on the shelf and like angle it so that it would have a um, overview, but it made it difficult to tilt my pores. So I'm happy that I got this new device um, so I can move away from the shelf and not mess up um, my pores when I scrape the edges on the bottom of the shelf. Alrighty. So we've got a good base and I know there's a lot, a lot on here. Um, most of it will flow off. Now I'm going to put a puddle down and I'm going to pour my paints onto the puddle. And I'm just doing little designs. Not necessarily a ring pour. I'm not the biggest fan of ring pours. Um, I've said that many times. So just kind of alternating and moving my beaker around. I still I still got some rings in there, however. Actually, I think I'm going to be happy that I put that um, sienna in there. It looks quite nice. Alrighty. So, I am going to work relatively quickly. Um, and that is because the longer time pass, the more um, opportunity for the little pearl cells to form. And when they start forming, if you stretch them out, um, they will start to become distorted. And we want to avoid that if possible. So I'm bringing this back to the center. I 
going to turn this around because I like to pour into my left hand. I kind of like these little... Oh, no I didn't. Yes, I did. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, I don't want to lose my little yellow cells. I like them. Alright. I can see a bit of the silver starting to pop through, but I need to pour off. And I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose this. So, that is why I'm going back and forth and trying to get some of the paint off, but there are details I'm trying to preserve. And if you can look to my, I don't know if you can see on the camera yet, but my left hand in that corner you can see some creation of those cells starting to pop up but I think there's still too much paint on the canvas so as more paint flows off I think we'll start to see more effects pop up I am glad I put that um, sienna in I don't know. Nobody else might like it, but I like it. It's really nice. Okay, let's bring this back. Let's start to fill. Let me fill. Still got a little bit of weight on this sod. Too much. I think if I leave it there, it's going to um, crack when it dries, so I need to pull it back in a little bit. markings to make sure I'm in free. All right, so we can see on their own without any heat being applied, these um, little pearls are starting to pop up. Now, this process, you got to maintain a distance from the canvas where you don't burn your paint. I am awful and notorious for burning my paints. But you got to get close enough to activate these little cells. So it's a balancing act. I may
All right, so I let it sit for a little while. I thought it would do more. It didn't, but I actually I like this really subtle um, effect. And I posted a video. The last video I posted, I commented that I had had um, experimented with the metallics, and they were more finicky than the non-metallics. And this is what I meant. Um, it really has a lot to do with paint consistency and um, how thin you can get your paint on the canvas. But I didn't want the um, cells to become distorted, so um, that's kind of like give and take. So anyway, I just thought I would share this with you guys and let you see that. The metallics do work, they just don't seem to work as well um, as the non-metallics, but still pretty cool effect. It looks very, uh, very space theme, I think. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.